Hey guys, what's going on? It's Darren Cabral, the CEO of Suit Social. We help businesses build their brand, generate more leads, and make more sales online. And today we're back with another episode. We are talking about six marketing agency hacks to blow up your social media in 2022. If you're running the social media for a company or you're the owner of that company or you're the manager of that company and you're trying to look for ways to build quicker, faster, to get more movement because you're tired of posting stuff and having no response, we're gonna go through six tips today that agencies like us use for our clients to help speed up that process, get more response, attract more customers, and ultimately make more sales from the social media as well. So tip number one, consistency. Before you start anything, start with consistency in mind. So any result worth getting on social requires time and repetition. There's nothing you can do for 30 days to like kind of transform your social and get incredible results out of it. Everything needs to be looked at from a 12 month and annual kind of perspective. So start with that in mind and say, whatever we're gonna plan out today, whatever we're gonna think of doing for our social, we need a 12 month strategy, minimum. What are we doing over the next 12 months? What are we producing? What are we putting out? Who are we connecting with? Um, that is something we have to figure out before we start. And so um, that's the first part. The second part is the most difficult part of consistency when it comes to social media is content creation. This is where a lot of brands fall off. They sit down, they come up with a plan and they say, okay, we're gonna do three posts a week um, on you know XYZ channels, um, covering this sort of topic, this kind of content, great. They start it for a week and then all of a sudden, well, we don't have enough content, let's do two posts this week. And then we don't have enough, let's do one post. So before you know it, they fall off, okay? That's because they're struggling to get content consistently. That's usually because they don't have a plan. So what do we do here at Suits? We do what's called batch content. So batch content is basically getting together with your team, whoever's gonna be making content and spending a like straight chunk of time for us. We do a full day of just pumping out content. So ahead of time, we plan what we wanna shoot, our topics, our videos, our ideas, all of our stuff. We plan all out, we work it through with the team, and then we show up at a studio for the day or in our office, and we'll shoot for eight hours and literally just pump out YouTube videos, Instagram videos, stuff just like this, all being done in one day. And usually in an eight hour sitting, we have enough content to last us one to two months of weekly YouTube videos, three to five posts a week on our social, Instagram, Facebook. Like it's a ton of content for just a day of work. Um, and it ensures that, that our team and whoever's running the social always has content. And then when we're close to running out, we shoot the next batch. We like to stick on a schedule every month, spend eight hours, shoot content, and that way we always have an archive, we always have stuff to pull from, and we never run out. So it makes being consistent a lot easier. If you don't do that, it's gonna be hard to have consistency. If you're just winging it, um, it is a lot harder to do. So that was tip number one. Tip number two. Tip number two is collaboration. So collaboration is working with other people that already have an audience, that are already working with your customers, and working with them to help get more exposure. So what does that look like? Let's say you're a local accounting company, you might wanna partner up with your local chamber of commerce and do a live on their Instagram or their Facebook or their YouTube and do something where you guys can work together to create some content that goes out to their network as well. This will expose you to new people, new customers, new audiences, a lot easier and basically for free. You can also reach out to larger influencers if you know there's a way to add value and you can work together with them. You know, they have 50,000 followers, 100,000 followers. You can reach out to those kinds of people and find a way to make it worth their time to collaborate. If you have a little bit of a budget, you can even pay them for that collaboration. Um, and that's a great way to get in front of audiences organically without running paid ads. Tip number three, engaging creative. One of the worst things we see, um, I mean, God bless them. I see companies all the time trying to get in the social game. They're posting regularly. They're doing the consistency part right. They're doing the collaboration part right. But the creative just looks like garbage and that's just the truth. I don't know if they're just trying to do it themselves or they're using like 1998 paint or whatever they're doing, but it doesn't look right. And I think even they looking at it can recognize that. So some tips to up that creative a little bit are gonna be A, if you know you're not good and you don't have the skill to do it, outsource it. There are literally a million options from things like Fiverr to hire a graphic designer to just hiring a local designer, to hiring a part-time designer in your office, to hiring an agency. There's a lot of things you can do to be get better level creative. If you don't have the budget or ability to do any of that, use a system called Canva. I mean, canva.com, you know, done right, using their templates allows you to make really nice graphics with very little input, even for those not so design and client individuals, it is better than nothing. Get that creative up, you wanna use clear images, bright images, things that catch attention, whether it's a video um, or an image, nothing blurry, nothing out of focus, nothing that like has too much words or, or things that are gonna distract people from the main message, right? So that's just something to consider with that. Tip number four, so although the majority of the time you wanna be putting out value, education, entertainment, and really engaging with that audience in a more meaningful way, don't be afraid once a week to put out a call to action and that's gonna be just an offer for your service or product. Make sure those people that are coming to your page, all those new people every week, 
know what you do and know how to work with you if they want. Because a lot of people are looking for that. A lot of people have found your stuff, they really like you, they like what you're putting out, they're engaging with it, but they haven't taken the time yet to really figure out what you do or what you can do for them. So whether it's an Instagram story or a post, Take that time once a week to actually make a call to action and remind people that you're here for them. You can offer them things, do it from a place of value. And I think your audience will appreciate it if it's done tastefully and it'll lead to more business. Okay, so tip number five is leverage automation. Automation, um, I mean, especially now in the age that we're in, it makes your life a lot easier. There's a lot of things when it comes to social media marketing that you can automate. So from post scheduling um, with tools like Hootsuite and Sprout Social and all that fun stuff, that get rid of that tedious manual posting element and let you just batch all your content to go out at certain days and times automatically. Tools like Zapier to automate things like lead magnet delivery or connections to your CRM or your messages or your emails are very, very, very useful. Um, there are some free ones as well, like Facebook, once you have the business suite set up for your business, does allow also scheduling of posts and content, but leveraging those automation tools as much as possible. You can even go so far as using tools to do your copywriting for you. There's tools like Jasper, if you do a quick Google search of that, is an AI copywriting tool that will actually help you write a lot of your posts, can write your blogs, your social um, in seconds, but would take you hours. And so there's a lot of these tools out there now that act as force multipliers do some research, leverage them, it makes your life a lot easier. Tip number six, if you're really struggling to grow that social media, you're having a hard time doing it, um, it's just not working out, you don't have the time, you're really busy, that's okay, don't feel guilty. I mean, you probably do have better things to do with your time. Um, I mean, ultimately only you can run your business, but someone else can run your social media. And so if you want some help doing all this, it might be time to consider outsourcing to an agency. And I'll tell you why I suggest that versus hiring a full-time employee. If you're a small business, you can get a lot of talent and a lot of resources for half the price of a full-time employee, give or take. You'll get a team of expertise with designers, with strategists, a whole kind of gamut of people supporting your mission with all their technology that comes with that, again, for a fraction of that investment. It's a very easy way to get started if you're a small business and you just want the extra support without all the complexity of building a team, and it can help. Agencies work with dozens, if not hundreds of clients. They know what the best practices are. They're up to date with the new strategies. They have all the quick tricks and tips and all that stuff that's gonna be applied to your business and help you grow a lot faster in a completely hands-off way. That is the six tip, guys. If you agree with any of those, if you've tried them, if you've not tried them, let us know in the comments below. We do wanna hear from you. If you like the video, drop us a like, drop us a subscribe, or follow us on Instagram at suitsocial.com. We'll see you there.